we think that people are really getting tired of the same old faces and the political establishment and there really is a need for a fresh perspective and a new way of doing things. That said, with the, especially with the breakneck pace that these elections have been announced um, and with how tough it is for new faces to break into politics, um, we are struggling. So we've got a really strong team. In fact, I think we've got a stronger team in the last six months than we have at any time in the last few years. But actually people putting themselves on the line, giving up their careers and making it so difficult for their families, it's just really tough right now. So we need to see what we can put forward. So will you be putting yourself forward as a candidate? So I've, I've very much made my intentions clear that I'd like to be a part of any slate and that I'd like TG to put forward a slate. That said, we need to be realistic about what we can offer. I think the sense is also this election is very much going to be a referendum on the GSLP. And we're not really sure as TG how much value we can add to that debate. So what does Together Gibraltar stand for? So we've always been very clear about our values, about inclusivity, for having more diverse forces in politics, and also about sustainability, which is an agenda that we think has really been left behind the past four years especially. And that's something that whatever role we fit in Parliament, we're definitely going to be um, holding which whoever's in government to account to make sure that they're doing what's best for the people of Gibraltar, for our environment, and making sure that people aren't left behind. And of course, Marlene leaves a big hole in the party. So what are your hopes without her? So she does. So Marlene's still in the party, kind of in the back benches, as it were. So we do want to make clear she's not left. But it has been very, very difficult with her as such a force and as such a... Marlette, having Marlene there was what really let TG act as a government in waiting. What we've said now is we have to be honest, we need to be humble about our position. And our position now is that we really want to make sure we're holding whoever is in government accountable. We think that that's something that oppositions in Gibraltar haven't done a very good job of. And we think there needs to be a voice there that's actually forcing the government to make changes. And we've had some success even after Marlene's leaving in getting government to commit to um, doing better about litter on Main Street, about rejuvenating the Upper Rock. So we are still a force and we're still hoping to keep it, stay in that role. And you mentioned the opposition, so there was a failed potential merger with the GSD. There was, there was. And as I mentioned, this was something that I thought I had to really push through. I picked up from Marlene and I wanted to keep do a genuine job with because we have people in our party who are really experienced, really ready to be ministers and start making change. And people are really clamoring for change. So I thought, look, I'll really see this through and I'll see if we put something together. And as I said on GBC previously, I think unfortunately what came out of those discussions was just that Keith, this progressive agenda that he keeps talking about just doesn't have a backing in his own party. And so our job now as TG is to set forward very clear progressive agenda and not do what the GSD is trying to do, do which is um, please everyone, please the conservatives as well as the progressives. We know what we stand for and we're always going to be a home for those progressive voices. So with that said, who would you like to see as the next Chief Minister and why? <laughs> So that's um, <laughs> something I've not put much thought to. Obviously, I wanted to see Marlene in that position, but that's something that we're having to come to terms with not happening. Um, and I think what I'm most focused on is how we're going to hold whoever is in that position accountable and make sure that they're doing what's best for Gibraltar. If it is Fabian Picardo, then I hope that he really takes some of the criticisms we've levied on board and he takes a more inclusive role, a more honest and transparent role. And it doesn't just all become about him. He needs, really needs to learn to delegate and need to trust his team and our civil servants. So what does the future hold for Together Gibraltar? So whatever happens over the next few weeks, we do have a really committed team and we're really committed to the long-term vision of Together Gibraltar. We're not going to go the way of other third parties. We're going to keep holding government accountable and we're going to keep trying to give ordinary working class Gibraltarians a political home.